Hey guys, Lunar Spire 1127 here, bringing you Bleach Chapter 482. So last time in, in last week's chapter, people in the Rukongai district are disappearing. Yuki and Shino are still alive, meaning they're going to be appearing in this final arc. Whoop de freaking do! And a um, weird-looking uh, Ron Car, I'm assuming, has appeared out of nowhere, named Ivan Asgero. So the chapter begins with uh, the Ron Car telling Ichigo to go repeat what he just said, and of course Ichigo just says, I don't know who you are, but get off that bed, that's what I said. And of course, uh, Ivan refused, and Ichigo responds by kicking him in the face. Nice response. <laughs> and I just realized something. How the hell did Ivan appear in Ichigo's room? Was there like some sort of garganta or, or some weird opening or, or something? Or did he just like pop out of nowhere or something? <sighs> so anyway, um, Chad, Chad and uh, Uri are just questioning whether he, Ivan is a wrong car because he has like, you know, if that a uh, hollow mask on his face. But Ichigo just doesn't care and he's just going to, you know, settle outside. His friends... This is the part I didn't like about this chapter. His friends decides to let him handle it or handle it while they're gonna eat bread. Really? Couldn't they at least like go out and help him at least? Just give him some screen time or something. Uh anyway, moving on. <laughs> Ivan Ivan seems to be confused as why he kicked him all of a sudden, so is he supposed to be the end? But isn't he supposed to be the enemy or or something? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, so anyway, uh, Ichigo tells Ivan to follow him. Ivan follows him and um, he asks him if he was... And Ichigo asks Ivan if he is in a wrong car and if he's here to avenge Aizen. And of course, I, Ivan responds, Me? In a wrong car? I'm not in a wrong car. He's he, yeah. So he's not in a wrong car, and he pulls out the Quincy cross. Sorry, Quincy cross. He's a Quincy, yet he has a hollow mask. <laughs> I at least I think it's a hollow mask. Well, anyway, um, he uses his Quincy cross or qu the necklace that you know that Uryu has to summon this giant. Uh, Bow, I'm assuming it's this huge bow with with three spikes coming out of it, and I'm I honestly I I don't know how how that's gonna work in battle. So anyway, the, yeah, the villains are now the Quincys. We thought the 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 wrong cards are gonna come back, but no, he's he's a Quincy, but it still doesn't explain what the hell was with the the mask on his face. So does this mean that? Uryu might get some character development. And wait, wait, hang on. If the Quincy's are back, weren't they exterminated by the Shinigami? I mean, Ryukin. Well, aside from Uryu, Ryukin was like the only survivor because you know, well, he didn't like his Quincy powers. So I guess maybe there were some unknown Quincy's that survived during the massacre or something. Anyway, um, it looks like that Ivan and Ichigo are going to fight, but we cut to. Rukongai District, 64 East, Sabitsura, and we see Ikaku and Yumichika, and we can see Yumichika's new look, and um, from what I can tell, he has one braid, and he still, he has feathers now on his eyelashes, and feathers from his hair, or from his ears, I'm not really sure, but anyway, they're investigating the disappearances of the, of the citizens in the Rukongai District disappearing, and um, uh, and they've managed to find a couple of footprints that seem to belong to the residents in the Rikangai district. And Yumichika says that some people from this village in Rikangai took away other people from, of the same village. So it means that uh, someone or something has been gathering all the people in Rukongai into one place where they seem to have disappeared. Who or what is behind this, we don't know. But then we cut to then we cut to Head Captain Yamamoto get, getting reports of all the squads 
But then all of a sudden, these weird-looking people... I can't tell if they're really Quincy's or not. They look like they have the same outfit as Ivan, but they also have um, what look like these dark sla dark sashes, uh, these weird berets, and and a mask, entire a black mask covering their faces. Okay, what is with the security in this, here in Zerite? I mean, a bunch of, I'm assuming Quincy's, I, I don't know, just came out of nowhere, managed to break into Head Captain Yamamoto's office, and are actually confronting him. And the chapter ends with them telling him that they're declaring war on you, on them, him. So, yeah, the and that's how, where the chapter ends, so, yeah, w they're declaring war, and war is about to begin. So this chapter, um, honestly, I like this chapter. Yeah, this chapter didn't really suck at all, like the other two chapters. This actually has some good development towards the plot, for once, and learning that the Quincy's are actually making a comeback is also a, a bonus. And that the guy, that Ivan, was not an Iran card. But I still don't get what is with the the hollow mask. I mean, is he some sort of Iran card Quincy hybrid or something? I, I don't know. And plus, we don't even know if those mysterious men with the black masks are actually Quincy's. Or they could be the Royal Guard. They could be the Royal Guard. That's what, At least that's what I think it could be. But I don't know. So for this chapter, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 because this chapter was really good. It gave some development towards the plot. Didn't give t anything too much away. Uh, hopefully next week's chapter will be also almost as good or even better as this week's chapter. So that's um, Bleach chapter 482. So this is Lunar Spire 1127 and I'll see you guys later. Bye.